Jeff Walker just told that there are only two people in the whole world that he will ever let to write their copies. And you are one of them. So I wonder what makes so special about words for you that you start to be a copywriter? Wow, that's a good question. Uh, I, don't, I don't think anybody actually has ever asked me that question. Um, it's probably because I've always loved words. I've always loved to read. When I was, um, one of my earliest memories is my grandfather. Wow, you got this story out of me that nobody's ever gotten out of me. Um, my grandfather uh, used to read to me. I stayed with him a lot when I was very young. And I remember him reading me all these great, wonderful storybooks. Um, and I just fell in love with reading and stories and how we could be transported to some other place, some other time, and learn things and see things in, in our mind and go places that we had never actually been before. So I guess that's where the, the genesis of the power of words for me came from. Good question. Thank you. So what has this story in common with copywriting? Because people are sometimes like thinking, oh, copywriting is great, great content, a lot of information. So where is the place for story in there? Well, this is where people get confused. They think it's a separate thing and it's not. It's we. The reason that as human beings that we're drawn to stories is, first of all, we want to know we're not alone. And secondly, we want to uh, be able to project ourselves into situations where we can be the hero. We, we all dream of, when we watch uh, Star Wars, we all dream that we're Luke Skywalker or Princess Leia. And, and I'm not judging whichever one you decide you want to be. Um, but that's, we like to put ourselves into those impossible situations. Like when I read the Lord of the Rings, I, I am Frodo at the, the Mount Doom, dropping the ring into the, into the fire that destroys evil in the world. And so for, in our marketing, I know that sounds like a huge leap, but in our marketing, we're really telling stories. And it's really the same story that people want to hear. They want to hear that they're not alone, that there's hope, that they can overcome the obstacle, the problem, the pain, whatever they're trying to change in their life. And we're telling them a story if we're doing our job right. If we're just relating facts like features and numbers and information, that's not a story and that's not powerful marketing, but stories are captivating. There's a, a, a neurobiological study that was just done recently that demonstrated that when we're listening to a story or reading a story or watching a story, this is kind of scary, the rational part of our mind shuts down. We stop using logic and reason and we're just drawn into this world of the story and our brain can't tell the difference between the story and reality. So if we're telling a good story, a powerful story, a true story, then we're leading people to a place that's good and powerful and true. And that's what our marketing should be like. Exactly. But then when you have the trilogy Lord of the Rings or you have uh, Star Wars six parts or seven now, you have so Only much four too time. Many. Yes, but now how to tell the story in very short time? Sometimes the copy is like 30 seconds, right? Or one minute or like how to tell the story in very little, limited time and not to lose the emotions and not to lose the iman imaginary and keep the right proportion with information that you still need. Well, it takes work to be able to dial it down into a very succinct, short passage, but uh, there's one word that's very powerful that you can use in your marketing and your copy and your content, and that word is imagine. Because if I tell you, if I say, imagine you're standing on the top of a mountain peak, you've climbed all day to get there, the wind is in your face, the chill is in the air, but you're looking at this incredible sunset and you know that you, if you hadn't done the work to get there, you never would have been able to have this grand view. You would never be able to have this connection with the creation. Well, that was 20 seconds, but I, I told you to imagine it mm -hmm. and you were there. Yeah. You felt that feeling of victory, that feeling of triumph, that feeling of grandeur, of awe. Mm -hmm. That's the power that we can just evoke images in the mind of our readers, our listeners, our viewers with just a few brush strokes of story that can place them right in the scene where we want them to be. And the, the, the challenge, the work is carefully choosing and crafting those words. Imagine if, imagine if you will just meet one of the two copywriters that Jeff Walker <laughs> led into his great work and I just done it. So thank you so much, oh, Ray. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Wow, you're great.